All right, moving on to everybody's favorite part is how do you become your own label? It's fun. Uh, if you like to work long hours and um, and always be frustrated and like the good thing about having a job is you go home and you can you can you can shut it off. But when you have your own company, you're always thinking like how to make things better, how to figure out problems, and you'll find out that. The better you are at problem solving, the better you're going to be at, at running your own company. You shouldn't be the best person in the company at every job, but you should know a little about every job. When you start out, a lot of designers fail because they want to do too much at the beginning, especially if you're financing yourself. When people want to design a collection and get into business and they got a little money, they'll spend, I see this all the time, they'll spend probably 90% of that money making the samples. And then figuring out, like, they'll get the money for production later. And it, it rarely works. <laughs> it can work, but it really works. <laughs> what happens is, you run out of money, when it comes time to, to ship the clothes, you're, you're, you're looking for backers, you're looking for uh, somebody to, to loan you money, you know, you're working on business plans, you're doing everything trying to get money to deliver the stores. And if you do it that way, and you don't deliver to the stores, what do you think is gonna happen in like the second season that you go around with your line again, if you're able to make another line? They're gonna think you're wasting their time. So be ready. Hold your creative juices back. And figure out, if, especially if you're working on a limited budget. If you've got millions of dollars behind you, man, yeah, you can just come in with a big collection, no problem. But if you're working with limited money, start with your very best style that's going to define like, who you are. As many brands that started with just one style and grew into full collection and it seems like no time. You just gotta have one hit, one, one thing, and then you can build season after season, you can expand your collection. You have to think about every item that you're gonna make, you gotta multiply that. If locally, try to multiply it by 100 pieces, the cost that it's gonna you know, take to, to make that product. And if you're doing it overseas, like 600 to 1200 pieces. So, you gotta be ready to have money to, to produce that whole collection. And then, what's a good practice is not only have money to produce that first collection because before, while you're producing that first collection, you also gotta think about the development of the next collection which happens at the same time. Figure out what your story is. Figure out what your edge is, whatever it is. If you, you can't come to the market, with the same white shirt that you know everybody else has, and expect the buyers to buy it from you, other than the big name brand who has marketing money and advertising all over the place. What is going to be the reason that they pick your style over the more established companies who are proven that they can deliver, who are proven to have a following? That's what you're up against when you come in. And so you have to do things differently. You can't come to the table with the same thing and then probably be at a higher price.